5,180 pounds, Winnebago's rear kitchen offering in their uh, mid-size couples camper segment, coming in for a brand new year here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, they've made uh, some pretty significant interior facelift updates and a couple small appointment things that it's just really a case of, you know, the best keeps on getting better. One of the more common questions I get with almost any camper is what can I do with it when the slide's closed? And right now I've got the slide closed. What's cool here is you can see that you can get to all the kitchen. You can get to the dinette. You can get to the sofa, the entertainment. Frankly, you can get to almost anything in this RV with that slide out closed. With the exception of that giant in the slide closet right there. Now you're looking at it, you're going, okay, uh, you say you can get to the bedroom, but uh, I don't know about you, buddy, I'm not that skinny. And that's where the bedroom door comes into play. Now, you know, you, you do have to hop outside to get to it, but the fact is you can get in here. You can get to the bedroom. And thanks to the fact that this has dual bathroom entry doors, you can also get in here to the bathroom, get to the shower, get to the toilet without ever touching the slide out. I also know that one of the most common questions I'm going to receive is can I change the sofa out for something else? So I'd rather just proactively answer that. And the answer is no. And here's the reason why. If you look at the front of it, you're like, yeah, the sofa goes all the way to the floor. I don't understand why you can't just swap it out. Notice how the slide does not go all the way to the floor. You're essentially sitting just above the slide floor itself. Um, this is a lighter weight slide system. It's one of the reasons the 2401RG Winnebago is lighter weight. It helps keep the weight of this thing manageable, keeps it more towable. But it does mean that this is the seating arrangement that we are basically, for lack of a better phrase, stuck with. That being said, Winnebago does a very nice couch right here. It's very puffy and tufted on the back, and it sits directly across from your TV. I think you could do a heck of a lot worse, personally. And it's kind of like when your favorite brand of pop, as we say in the Midwest, or soda, depending on where you're from, or Coke, depending on when you're from, when it says brand new look, same great taste. It's just a facelift on this thing, but... I, I really feel like they've breathed some life back into this old girl. We've been very happy with our Winnebago's. We've, we've, I think we're the largest uh, Midwestern dealer of Winnebago towables. We have a plaque to show it, actually. But this thing looks good. This is, I think, the best they've looked. And I've said for a long time that old honey oak coloring in RVs, that's what campers looked like when I was growing up, so I'm kind of a sucker to it. I feel like it's coming back. This is light but warm, and I'm a fan of it. Quick note. You do have the ability to upgrade the standard 13,500 BTU air conditioner to a 15K. And we will typically do that on our Winnebago's here at Halid RV. So keep in mind, the one in this video might be different from the one in stock. There's a lot of different things you can do to these. We're going to try to make a big pass around. But since this is a rear kitchen, we're going to start with the rear kitchen. Because, hey, that makes sense. Um, neat little thing they did here is they actually hid the control panel uh, so that you know, the uh, grandkiddos, if they come over, they can't start messing with your water heater buttons. You know, it's out of sight, out of mind, but there you go. You can also turn off, like, your awning lights right here if you're so inclined. Um, there is a storage pocket below the refrigerator right there that would make a pretty handy shoe garage, actually. And the recent updates they made to their kitchen over here, I think, were absolute knockout crowd-pleaser features. Most of the shape, the storage, little of that has changed. But the upgrade to a pressed membrane countertop so that it's far more water resistant, you know, wrapping around that beautiful stainless steel sink, that was a smart decision so that you can be a little more liberal with kind of how you're scrubbing stuff in the sink. And if a little water splish splashes on the, the counter, no big deal. Just wipe her down, no sweat. Uh, it still has easy reach appliance outlets, which is, I think, one of the best things that they've ever done in these RVs, in, in this Winnebago, and it's one of the areas of its success because it's very easy to be able to plug in appliances. Now you can see how they've swapped out the sink covers instead of, uh, you know, the two black ABS molded ones. You have one of those aluminum rollaway drying rack kind of things right there, and they've recessed the stove top. You, you can also see that increases our counter space, which this is a floor plan that drastically benefits from it. Also, the devil's in the detail kind of stuff, guys. The way that right here you have both back and side splashes. That is just an absolute genius move on their part. Now you may have noticed the slide side in here in the kitchen and the, uh, the slide end. Those windows all open for some just great, great airflow. And 
kind of like we have some pretty great storage in the kitchen, we'll have similarly great storage over here in the living area. Now there's a little storage above the sofa right there, but I'll take what I can get. They don't waste anything. And by the way, one of the things you can do when you're shopping, and I encourage you to do, take your hand and feel back here. This is called the cabinet style. You can feel screws, pocket screwing this thing together. That's more of a residential style construction um, versus a, if this was a particle board cabinet structure versus a real wood, then uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. So, I mean, you can, you can literally feel the difference and you can use that on any trailer you shop. Um, and these are all hardwood cabinet door frames. You can do what I call the wedding ring test. And you can hear the superior materials in place on a Winnebago, kind of like the stainless sink. And you'll find a stainless sink in the bathroom as well. So you've got this just... I mean, scientifically speaking, redonkulous size closet right here. You could almost pack a whole refrigerator into this thing, and it's a blank canvas. The thing is, no matter how Winnebago, if they put shelves in here, someone would say they should have done it wrong. So Winnebago left it blank. Um, you can come up with your own little home organization methods to kind of size that to your sets and preferences. A neat little detail here I should have talked about when I was talking about the AC. All of their vents are uh, capable of closing and turning, which is kind of cool. So you can really make that air flow where you want it or exactly where you don't. Now, when we look down, you won't find um, heat ducts in the main walking area of this Winnebago. It does have floor ducted heating because that is a more efficient heating method to help them in the spring and the fall. But where you're walking all the time, they get the vents out of the way in that area. Now, directly across from that sofa, on what I call the corner of Boardwalk and Park Place, we've got ourselves a nice, generously sized TV next to that Bluetooth DVD player. But you're also overlooking that window. So whether you're on the sofa or the dinette, you're always able to look out toward your campsite, which hopefully you're looking at something other than some gravel and the RVs that we have here at Halet RV. But hey, if you want to camp in our backyard, Folks, you know, we'll, we'll frankly probably let you. Now, a more recent update at the time of this filming. They have begun to include cabinet doors on the ends of their dinettes. There's always been storage below them, but it's now easier than ever to get to that storage to access those things. Now, this is definitely a couple's camper first, but if you do have some guests for a weekend, you can fold down both of your sets of living room seating to get a little bonus space, and you'll find nice pleated nightshades for privacy all the way through, and actual doors for the bedroom to, you know, enclose that off as well. And with the dual bathroom doors that we saw earlier, anybody can get to the bathroom at night without ever disturbing the other person. Now, I fully acknowledge, again, that this is not, like, flat. It's obviously puffy on the back. This is a couple's RV first. This is designed for daytime comfort first and guest sleeping second because 100% of potential owners are gonna to wanna to sit on that sofa to watch TV. But not 100% of owners are going to wanna to utilize that as a bonus sleeping area. So just one of those things to keep in mind. Now moving up here, quick thing I wanna point out as we come to the bedroom and bathroom is the way that their door jams in Winnebago RVs are always fully framed. It's not trim, it's actually fully framed out so that this doorway is always square. And the fit and the finish, the way that everything matches up so nicely, that's just Winnebago construction that goes back to the, the days of the, uh, the Sunnybrook facility um, at which they're produced. Some people are aware of that, some people aren't, but there is a huge tradition of quality that comes out of the building in which these are made. We're gonna kinda look at the bathroom in two segments right here. You can see that porcelain foot flush stool. Uh, you can also see more of that sealed edge counter stuff with a big uh, stainless bowl sink here in the bathroom. But plenty of space on those rear corners for like toothbrushes and whatnot. And you've got decent storage with a full vanity above. Now you can also see that we have a uh, big radius shower with a skylight, not a conventional tub. So it is much, much easier to get in and out of here. Um, the bedroom looks and feels bigger and you know if you look at the history of these it actually is bigger than it used to be because it used to have a camp queen and now this model has a true 80 inch queen so a residential queen we were already in here a little bit uh previously we walked in through that door but i want to point out these uh windows winnebago uses the biggest windows that they possibly can and that's one of the reasons why you have a hanging closet over here 
but you do not have a hanging closet over there because that window is occupying some of the space that closet would need to be in. The fact is, remember that huge, huge closet in the hallway? This RV already has more than enough hanging storage. And if you want some very personal effects staying up here in the bedroom, you do still have the closet on the, we're going to call it left side, but driver's side of the uh, RV right there. So you always have a good place to keep some personal items, but you got tons of hanging storage in this. And the thing is, not everybody will give you big windows like this. So that's a big time Winnebago deal. Also, some people are a little bit claustrophobic. So it does allow you to have one person on this side of the bed feeling a lot more bigger open. That side of the bed is more CPAP friendly as well. But frankly, both sides of the bed have some form of stands with household outlets nearby. Now, below our 60 by 80 queen, if I lift her right up with my hand, which I can because it's lighter weight plywood, which is stronger and more load bearing. You can see how we have a fully sectionalized underbed storage chest right here. Uh, easy lift, obviously, as we already demonstrated, but there's no pass-through from inside to outside. Some people really like the outside stuff staying outside and the inside stuff staying inside. And again, even where you're not looking, Winnebago's using superior grade materials. That's just what these folks do. Now, I said we'd uh, take two sweeps at the bathroom. One of the reasons is when this door is open, you don't get to see this very nice six and a half foot tall floor to ceiling linen cabinet right here. So whether it's extra towels, whether it's, um, you know, shampoos, toiletries, etc., body wash, you've always got a place for all that. Now, one other thing I want to note right here is you see where this plumbing comes through the floor. They're not required to do this, but Winnebago puts that nice little white grommet right there just so that when they route that hole out with their tools at the Winnebago shop, there's not this ugly, rough-edged hole that you're looking at. It looks very clean. It looks very done with purpose of intent. And there's so many instances of areas where you can see this, and there's so many more in Winnebago that you can't see. And it's the little attention to detail things like that. They add up. It's the reason our Winnebagos are not the least expensive trailer you'll ever find. But if you're looking for small, high class, and it's the last RV you ever want to want. This is most definitely a brand that needs to be very high up on your list. Very little, in fact, nearly nothing, on the outside of this RV has changed since the last time I uh, captured footage of it, but that's a good thing. Really, uh, underneath the Winnebago, you know, logo on that nose cap, they just added a little decal graphic into their nose cap there where last year it was blank. It just kind of looked like, well, the bald spot on my head we'll just say that but the fact is that this thing just continues to they're they're always looking for those little things those little fine tunes to really dial this in i and i probably said it inside i think this is the best winnebago ever it's the best generation of winnebago trailers they've ever made um now uh you know the things like the larger air conditioner are optional on here this also tends to have at halid rv the optional winnebago weather package but that is a very misunderstood thing and I think the name being called Extreme Weather Package is in and of itself confusing. Winnebago doesn't actually cold chamber and test their campers, so I won't make a promise they haven't. I won't tell you this is crazy zero degree rated or whatever. What this is going to do is make your camping experience more comfortable um, for an extended season use. This always has a heated enclosed belly. But what the weather package does is it adds a uh, single layer radiant barrier from the rear wall up across the roof and down the nose, and then a double layer radiant barrier in the belly. Radiant barrier is not insulation, and I'm going to do a better job of specifying the two this year. Radiant barrier is something that's just a heat reflector. It works good in a burst heat situation, but extended uh, exposure can cause bleed through. Exactly the same way that if you wrap a potato in tin foil and throw it in the oven, that potato still gets hot because of prolonged exposure. Um, now, all that being said, we tend to put that on these because it'll make your summertime camping stay cooler inside, and it'll make your spring-fall camping stay a little warmer inside. So that's the idea. Um, power tongue jack, power awning, make setting and breaking camp simple and easy. Next to this big baggage door, we do have a uh, side mount solar prep plug. Uh, just inside there's a battery disconnect switch that we'll see in a little bit. Give you a little peek at the belly while we're down here. If they do the job right, you can't really see much. But I do want you to know a little bit different chassis on these. These ride on an aircraft style huck bolted frame. It is lighter but stronger. It is not 
less expensive. Very little on a Winnebago is less expensive. That's a recurring trend we're gonna discuss. Huge windows in the bedroom, you know, as we saw inside. And as I walk down the sidewall this, you get a really good look at that T60 gel coat here and the mirror-like reflectivity in it. You can see the reflection of the cars and the buildings in the distance and the trees and the clouds. You get the idea. Their fiberglass is hands down best in class. It is expensive. It is heavier than conventional fiberglass. Uh, it doesn't come in a roll. It has to be purpose-built laminated specially to this wall. The fiberglass itself is as thick as a piece of Luan. The fiberglass itself is structurally helping this RV, whereas most fiberglass is for eye candy only. Now over here, you might notice how all of the windows are going to open for airflow, which is pretty darn cool. You see that we have all of our hookups in one centralized location, including separate hookups for cable and satellite TV. And if we get down here, next to these uh, good looking aluminum wheels right above that, you're going to find a galvanized steel wheel well. So let's say, God forbid, that belted radial catches some debris on the road and you have a flat tire. You've got effectively a steel shield right there to help protect the RV to get it brought down from high speeds and get on the side of the road where you can use the spare tire on the back here. That being said, sort of like cough medicine, sort of like health insurance. I hope you never have to use that spare tire, but I sure hope you got it when you need it. These are prepped and ready for a Voyager backup camera and right below the Winnebago logo, you see that black square. That is a stovetop vent hood, so if you are cooking inside, it will exhaust heat out of the RV. Fan favorite feature, the three Fs on this Winnebago right here is also that maximum length power awning. Notice how it starts all the way at the back of the RV, and it does encompass both entry doors, the primary kitchen living area, as well as the bedroom sort of service door, if you will. And uh, what's cool about that is it doesn't matter if it's a rainy day, you're always going to be good. Now your uh, doors are a friction hinge so that uh, the wind doesn't smack them around or anything like that. We do have full length LED lighting under here, outside speakers, TV hiccups, all the things you kind of expect. This door also has a little auto close band on the screen door. So if you have the main door tilted open and you're just flipping the screen door in and out, no sweat, it'll take care of itself. You notice how both front and rear sets of steps are the nicer triple steps, not a less expensive double step. Very little about a Winnebago is the less expensive option. These are also the nicer, sturdier aluminum plank steps that uh, if your feet are wet, they won't tend to slip and slide and they're easier to see at night. Sharp looking wheel package on here and wouldn't you know it, they've got little Winnebago emblazoned hubcaps on there. Uh, quick look at the pass-through storage up front. You can see how these are uh, compression latches, which is what a lot of slam latches technically are. The difference between this and a slam latch, which is funny because this says slam latch on it, but it's technically a compression latch. The idea is you usually can just go like that. The idea though is that you push on it to close it, but it frankly works pretty well either way. I like that the magnet's built right in. And this has a generous pass-through storage cavity in here. Now, it throws some people off that you have uh, wood skeleton work under the bed, where a lot of products have an aluminum skeleton under the bed. Why is that? Well, basically what Winnebago found is that the type of material here doesn't really change the strength or quality of the camper. It only increases cost. There's no real significant weight savings or anything like that. So they just added a couple extra pieces of timber basically and made the bed sturdy as can be and off you go. Now a couple notes, you've got the same size wide easy access pass-through door on both sides of the camper. And if you take a note right there, you can see how it does have an easy reach battery disconnect switch so that when you are not using the RV, the battery doesn't get bled to death by phantom load, which is um, the power used by things like your water heater board, your refrigerator circuit panel, your stereo. Those things don't turn off, they just go into standby. But that kill switch, well, basically, will just kill them. One of the other things I like about uh, our Winnebago RVs here is the fact that they have a full walk-on roofing. Now, you might notice that bathroom vent magically opening and closing itself and the fan getting checked. You can see how this trailer is still hooked up to the RV delivery driver's truck right now. We proactively pre-screen everything uh, before it even is accepted here at Haylet RV, and then we take it over that huge building over there, and we do a complete full burn on every single appliance. So if, God forbid, it needs something, we can proactively take care of it. 
Then, before you take it at home, we take it back into that big building and we do all of that again just to make double sure. Now, I'm walking all over the roof of this thing, because I can. Not 100% of RVs on the market can say that, that they have a fully walkable roofing. Now, uh, often if somebody asks me what the structure of a Winnebago is, I would simply say all aluminum. If I'm being ultra specific, it technically has stamped steel roof trusses every 16 inches on center, but the point I think a lot of people are looking for is that it's not a wooden skeleton. Um, you can see how they're really heavy handed with sealants here. Here's another thing that we're testing right there. Um, you also see the King Jack antenna system on here. More and more brands are going to it as it becomes more affordable, but Winnebago was doing it when, you know, before it was super affordable because, as I said earlier, very little on this RV is designed to be the less expensive option. Rather, it's designed to be a little bit longer, stronger, lasting option. And hopefully, tip to tail, top to bottom, inside and out, that gives you a good idea of what this Winnebago and what we have to offer you here at Halo RV. Because, as you can see, we have no shortage of things. You can't see our entire property even from way up here. We've got over 15 acres packed full of over 500 RVs. We're the largest independent store in the state of Michigan. And we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.